Today's lesson is about Pacinian corpuscles. These are mechanoreceptors, basically receptor cells that detect vibrational pressure found all over our body in the skin. Let's look at the structure of these mechanoreceptors. They're made up of a sensory neuron, part myelinated, with the end left unmyelinated. The end of the axon is surrounded by layers of connective tissue known as lamellae or capsule. So let's remind ourselves of those structures of the Pacinian corpuscle. We have the axon or sensory neuron, we have the myelin sheath or Schwann cells, and we have the connective tissue layers known as lamellae or capsule. We have lots of Pacinian corpuscles on the palm of the hand. This enables a high sensitivity to touch, essential for manual tasks. Try stroking the palm of your hand. The back of the hand has a lower density of Pacinian corpuscles, and you can tell this by stroking the back of your hand. Let's look at how these Pacinian corpuscles actually work and how they can detect touch. Upon touch to the skin, the connective tissue or lamellae become indented or deformed. Eventually, this leads to a vibration within the end of the sensory neuron. As the axon ending moves or vibrates, it causes stretch-mediated sodium ion channels to open. These are channels that basically respond to touch or pressure. This causes an influx of sodium ions across the membrane into the axon. As the sodium ions move into the axon, they cause a change in the potential difference. We call this a generator potential. If the generator potential is big enough and crosses the threshold potential, normally minus 55 millivolts, then the axon will be depolarized. An action potential or wave of depolarization will move down the axon. The action potential moves by depolarizing each adjacent region of the axon's membrane. Once it reaches the myelin sheath or Schwann shells, it moves by saltatory conduction, jumping between the nodes of Ranvier the unmyelinated regions of the axon. The myelinated regions allow a faster transmission of the action potential. Let's look at an exam question. Figure 4 shows a diagram of a Pacinian corpuscle. Name the structures P, Q and R shown in Figure 4. Pause the video. OK, let's go through the answers. Well, P is the connective tissue, layers of lamellae or capsule. Q is the nerve ending or the unmyelinated part of the axon, so the axon of the sensory neuron. And R is the Schwann cells or the myelin sheath. OK, how did you do? Like, subscribe, leave a comment, let's get to the marks.